anointing your mind. That empowerment been given to you by Jesus. Uh, David stepped in it, stepped into it pre-Jesus. But as you can see, David, what was so powerful about David is that David stepped into Jesus's functionality before Jesus was actually even on the earth. So the power of God about David is that David, see, I want you to hear me. Jesus, he, he was, he is, he is to come. But when you, when you flowing in the spirit, you can step into the was, is to come Jesus while you're in is. Saints, this, this massive, something has happened to me. Uh, yesterday I was in the shower and the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me, said, son, this is another glory. Wisdom actually invites the glory more than any other godly quality. Wisdom invites the glory of God more than any other quality, very strongly. So when you flowing in wisdom, you flowing in the ability to unlock the cloud of God, the cloud of God and the crowd of God, because God's crowd is angels. So think about that. When you're moving in wisdom, you unlock the cloud of God and the crowd of God. And, and not only the cloud of God, but the shroud, the shroud, the shroud. How many of y'all heard about the shroud of Torah? The shroud, Jesus' shroud, where they said they saw his image on. So you, you unlock that same resurrection power in your mind. So you unlock the cloud, the crowd, and the shroud when you're moving in wisdom. And see, when you in the spirit, uh, even though you're in is, you're in the is realm of Jesus. When you in the spirit, when you move in in maturity, you can unlock the is to come, Jesus. So what happened? David was in the was Jesus, which was God, the Lord. But he stepped into the is to come Jesus because he was so spirit led so he's talking about how Jesus is he lifted his eyes up in Sheol because he's dealing with the is to come Jesus because he's moving in such maturity and wisdom that he steps into the is to come Jesus so watch this here some of you are, are in the is Jesus right now. And the is Jesus is limited finances. The is Jesus is, I'm just going to give you enough so that you, you meet your needs. But if you sow, you're going to step into the is to come Jesus, which is the riches, the wealth, the abundance, the surplus, out of this world type of living. You can be in the is Jesus where he permit a thorn in your flesh, Apostle Paul. He, he let a thorn be in your flesh, Apostle Paul. But if you step into the is to come, Jesus, there's no sickness. There's no disease. There's no famine of the body, of the health. So your body is completely whole because you're in the is to come, Jesus. When you move in the spirit, you can step into the is to come, Jesus, for your life. So here's the thing. This is what I want you to catch. Most times you... In the is Jesus, where you're learning obedience by the things you suffer. So your mind is being trained how to think righteously, how to think holy, how to think wisdom. But you're not all the way there. If you would master the process where Jesus was tempted in all points, yet he did not sin. Temptation ain't got nothing to do with sex. Temptation, every time you hear temptation, you think about sex. Temptation is, is the invitation to think a certain way that God doesn't want you to think. That's what a temptation is. It's the opportunity to master a wrong thought. A temptation is the opportunity to 
give a wrong thought, please. A temptation ain't got nothing to do with sex. A temptation is a contrary form of thinking that Satan introduces to you while you're on the path that God has for you. So while you're on the path that God has for you, Satan introduces you to another system of thought, another system of thinking, another system of meditation. And it comes to corrupt or interrupt the flow that you're going with God to decrease your energy, to destroy your momentum and to uh, aggravate, aggravate your, 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 your rest. Because when you have the mindset of Jesus, you step into the rest of the Lord. There remaineth the rest. So you anoint your mind by protecting what you already have. Revelation says that what you have, keep until I come. Protect it until I come. Being a steward of what you already have. Your mind already has something in it that can shut down everything else that will come to your mind that's not from Jesus. Your mind already has something inside of it that could destroy everything that Satan is trying to put inside of it. Your mind already has a mantle inside of it. What's a mantle? It's a knowledge that you already carry. It's a wisdom that you already possess. It's a knowledge that you already are obtaining. You already got inside of you to shut down all the other things that Satan will send to your mind. Catch us the little foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vine. If you remember, it was Samson that took fire and set it on the fox tails into the camp of the Philistines. Philistines represent demons. He took the fire, put it on the tail, and on the fox, and put the fox to go inside of the camp of the Philistines. When it say catch us the little foxes, it means to outsmart the devil with the fire of the Holy Ghost. To burn up all those Philistine thoughts that make you adversarial to God.